What I have realized, Your Excellency, is that U.S. is not business as usual, as far as politicians are concerned. What I have seen today has impressed me so much to think that we have you as a bond. Let us share thoughts between you and us. I want to know what you do differently. What plans have you got to concretize power? The health care, quality health care. The question is from the economy. What plans do you have for persons with disability? I have kids that I hope tomorrow will get better education. I want you to tell us here and now your agenda for the people of this country. Hajia Aisha wanted to know about education. Education is big, and that's a huge topic, and we can sit here all day. But one thing that I can tell you for sure is that that for me is priority, priority number one. And the reason why it's priority number one, and the reason why it's priority number one is that this is what is required today to make money. I'm very, very convinced that it's not just manufacturing and all of the things we are doing. We will do all of that. But the knowledge economy is what is going to take our country out of the current poverty. And we are going to focus a lot on that knowledge economy. It starts with education. And we've done a few experiments. We need to reform our educational system, change the curriculum. Young people should be given a real opportunity to earn decent pay and to live well. We must ensure that this campaign for 35% or even 50% is not an elite thing. That we involve the market women. We involve all of the women, these grassroots women, in the campaign, especially now that it's gone back to the National Assembly. We are paying a lot of attention to completely restructuring our security architecture. We need more men, more boots on the ground. We don't have enough men, we don't have enough boots on the ground, but we also need more technology. So if I have a medical challenge and I want a doctor, and they tell me the best guy is in Sokoto and is a Muslim, am I going to say because I'm a pastor, I want to Sokoto to go out? Of course not, but I don't want to die. But when it comes to politics, because we don't take the destinies of our people seriously, because we don't take what they think, we just want power. That's the reason why we play politics with that. So we shouldn't. I think it's also absolutely wrong, and I think we should we should discourage politicians and condemn politicians who play ethnic and, and religious games to advance themselves. Okay. You are eminently qualified for what you are running for. We are acting excellent. I always talk about the best, and when you are here, when you are with me, I always mention the best. Mm -hmm. Choose amongst you the best. Look wise, look wise. Among all the fifty presidential candidates, look up, look for an experienced person, and not for somebody that is religious, and somebody that knows your economic problem. We have just ahead of us a new Nigeria. By God helping us, we will get to that new Nigeria. God does not make a mistake. My God must have given me those experiences. It's because a time will come when our country will need new leadership and that time has come it is time now the time has come what i am pledging is that you will find a president who is honest who has integrity who will not steal money i'm asking you that you also as our distinguished delegates the men and women who will take the important decision very important decision as to who will be our flag bearer I want you to take into account the future of our country and the generations to come. We must work together to ensure that we're able to deliver the best for our country and deliver the best for our children. Thank you very much. God bless you. APC! APC! APC!